Hello and a huge welcome to this video, I'm Scorpion from How To Do and in this video we will be learning how to make the shooting mechanics for our FPS game. In the end of the video we will be able to make this. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So this is what we made in the last video. We made the simple FPS movement system uh, that, that can move around and jump around and then also we added this 3D model and we also uh, implemented all the animations. We made some animations by itself like all of these animations that you see over here are made by ourselves. So if you have missed that tutorial video then make sure you see that video. Uh, you can click the card on the top right right over here and see the video first and you will be good to go. So we made this in the last video uh, and let's go ahead and make the shooting mechanics first. Okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, before we get started, I want to let you guys know that we are again going to use, of course, Playmaker. If you don't know what Playmaker is, then Playmaker is a really cool asset that helps you make games without writing a single line of code. In the last video, we implemented Playmaker and this is what we get. And if you haven't used Playmaker before, then believe me, it will change your life. Uh, so how you can use Playmaker is by going uh, to Asset Store and buy it from Asset Store. If you don't want to buy it or if you can't buy it, then also you can uh, download it for free. The link will be in the description box below. I personally will provide it to you guys. You can simply go ahead and download it, drag it inside your Unity, install it, and you will be good to go. If you have any problems installing Playmaker, then let me know. I will try to help you out in the comment section below. Anyways, let's go to the player and this is the FSM, Playmaker FSM that we made for our animation. This only uh, controls the animation and with this FSM, we can simply go ahead and implement all the animations. So this is the, what we made in the last video. We're gonna not going to touch that uh, at all. We're going to go ahead and make another FSM so that, you know, uh, this, this one is uh, taking care of the animations. So I'm going to go ahead and say add component, add another FSM and this one will call shooting. You don't have to rename it. I'm just renaming it so that we don't have any confusion over here. So this will take care of the shooting. I'm going to go ahead and say edit and here as you can see we have a brand new FSM. I'm going to go ahead and say get mouse button down which basically means when we press a mouse button it wanna, it's going to ask what, what mouse button. So of course we're going to use left mouse button because left mouse button is responsible for the shooting in many games and then we're going to go ahead and say new event and fire. So it basically means whenever we press the right mouse, uh, left mouse button we're going to go to new state, add a new state right click create a transition fire and bam so whenever we press the mouse button which will be left we're gonna go to this state 2 in this state 2 we are gonna go ahead and shoot a laser basically we're not gonna add in bullets we're gonna simply use a laser and that laser will shoot from the uh, center of the center of the gun and shoot forward and then it's gonna uh, we're gonna detect whether or not it's hitting anything and if it does hit we're gonna ch uh, check what it is hitting and all that so uh, now we're gonna go ahead and make a make a empty game object from which we will uh, shoot the laser right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the player in the main camera here we have the and the the gun this is the AK-47 gun and then go ahead and say right click create an empty game object inside of the gun I'm gonna go to the side view just like that I'm gonna press F and zoom in just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring it right over over here alright so this is the, basically the aim so I'm gonna bring it right over here so uh, there we go and I'm gonna go to the front view and see if it is properly lined up just like that all right so here it is cool I'm gonna go in the top view and bam so as you can see it is right where it should be right over here so here is from where we can shoot the laser out all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna as you can see uh, if I come out a little bit as you can see this is the Z direction and Z direction is shooting in that way so this is a little problem over here we will see we will fix that if we set this to global as you can see it's pointing over here if we set this local it's pointing over there so we have to fix it a little bit but let's see what happens I'm gonna rename to ray caster all right so this will cast the ray I'm gonna go back to the player and I'm gonna go to the shooting and in here I'm going to say raycast, uh, raycast as you can see over here. So this basically is the laser raycast. So I'm going to go ahead and say from uh, specify the game object from where we want to cast the ray and we're going to say raycast this one right. So uh, the position will be uh, we don't want a position we, we want to set the direction. So what the direction will be in the Z all right as you can see it is in the Z. Uh, there we go in the Z all right. Uh, so 
uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and also debug the laser so that we can see and we can set this to color to red or something like that so that we can easily see the laser and let's go ahead and play the game so that we can see if the laser is pointing in the right direction or not so I'm gonna say play all right and I'm gonna go ahead and say click oops click and as you can see it is shooting a ray I'm gonna pause the game just like that so do that so you can see it is shooting the ray right from over here and it's really amazing now if in your case if it is not shooting the right way if it is shooting uh, the opposite way then you can go ahead and come in here and set this to minus one just like that and now you will see it is shooting in the opposite way but in my case it's properly working so I'm not gonna do that and I'm gonna go ahead and bring back and as you can see now it's shooting in the right direction cool uh, now the next thing that we need to do is we need to check whether or not this laser is accurate or not all right so let's go ahead and increase the distance a little bit let's set it to thousand and to check the accuracy what we're gonna do is uh, close that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say right click create a cube all right and it's really big I'm gonna reset the position so it's zero 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 I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and I'm gonna move it back all the way all right and give it a material somewhat like this and I'm gonna make it little smaller so as you can see that is our target all right so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over here just like that and let's see if it is properly working or not if, we, if, if the laser is hitting the cube or not so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say just over there just like that and I'm gonna hit it click Control shift P to pause the game and I'm gonna come out and let's go ahead and see so you can see it is not accurate at all it's not hitting it so uh, it's little up and it's little up all right so how do we set it properly well you can go ahead and select the raycaster and then rotate it uh, no, it's not gonna work because the game is paused. So I'm gonna go ahead and come out of the pause mode. So Control Shift P, just like that. Select the raycaster again, and I'm gonna rotate it in the in the X until. Let's see, where are we aiming? We are aiming somewhere over here, right? yeah I guess I guess it's accurate so I'm gonna go ahead and copy the component just like that come out of the game view paste the component values BAM and now it will properly work all right because the the offset was little off and you know the gun is not straight and all that so now if I go ahead and shoot it it's really small that is really small but if I Son of a bitch. If I shoot it. Oh. Uh, shoot it. Okay, let's see. There we go. Control shift. As you can see, it is still hitting it. Amazing. Amazing. So the accuracy is full. Amazing. I like it. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. So, this is how you test the accuracy of your gun. And now our gun is properly accurate amazing now uh, let's go back to the player and go to the shooting now uh, I don't want to make this automatic gun I want you know uh, constant clicking or some uh, I don't know what's called semi-automatic or something like that you have to click 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 to you know shoot so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and say wait so once we click we're gonna wait for uh, I don't know 0.0 seconds we're gonna wait for 0 0.04 seconds or 0 0.05 does not matter and then we're gonna go ahead and say finished finished and come back so what basically will happen is that we shoot we come back we shoot we come back click 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 all right um, so uh, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say store the hit object so whatever object we hit it's gonna be stored in a new variable and I'm gonna call this one test obj which basically means we don't know if it is the enemy or a normal cube or or, or anything uh, so uh, we're gonna uh, add this to a variable called test object and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say game object compare tag we're gonna compare the tag of the game objects so that is how we're gonna test whether or not it's the enemy or not so before we do anything we have to set up the enemy and all that 
in this video we're not gonna use the enemy so instead of enemy we're gonna use a dummy dummy will be also a cube and I'm gonna go ahead and bring the cube right over here right over here bring it down make it smaller all right so this is the enemy for now I'm gonna call this one enemy and you have to go to the tag add tag and you have to just plus sign and you have to say enemy or anything and then just come back to the enemy I already have done that alright so I have a whole lot of over here I'm gonna go back to the enemy and go ahead and say enemy just like that alright so now this guy has the tag enemy which means this guy is enemy I'm gonna go back to the player go back to the shooting and in here we can say if the test object has the tag enemy it means it's the enemy so we're gonna just simply kill it and of course you can go ahead and say hit it and you know make some damage system but we're gonna do that in later videos not now because we're gonna only focus on the shooting mechanics uh, so when we hit the enemy we're gonna come over here now uh, let's go ahead and play the game and see if this 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 piece of logic is working or not if this is a piece of logic or is this a piece of shit let's just test it out so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the aim and here is our enemy and let's go ahead and shoot somewhere else as you can see it comes back to state one i'm gonna shoot anywhere else it's come back to state one now if i shoot the enemy it goes to state three as you can see it is detecting it is the enemy amazing so this is not a piece of shit this is a piece of logic here so uh now we are able to de detect the enemy now what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and do something uh do something cool now of course you can go ahead and say whenever we hit the enemy it just disappears just so that we know that this is the enemy but let's go ahead and say add component a rigid body to it and which basically enables the physics now if you play the game he will just stand over here right so it's gonna drop and stand over here because it has the gravity and all that but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say shooting in the state 3 we're gonna go ahead and add some explosive explosive force on it so that when we shoot it it's gonna you know blow up and you know fly away so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and state 3 and say add force add explosive force and I'm gonna go ahead and say specify the game object that will be the test object that is basically this guy over here and center will be 000, zero. the force will be I have set this to 700 radius will be 10 upward modifier will be I don't know 10 maybe I don't know and force and then now uh, when we add the force and do all the stuff we're gonna come back to state one so we're gonna say next frame event which basically means after executing this action we're gonna come back to the state one simple as that so say finished bam so this is a full loop cycle over here so bam 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 come back so hopefully this logic will work also so that it's gonna blow up and let's see if it bl blows up or not yeah because that will be really cool right uh, bam as you can see it blows up amazing 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 so this is how you make the firing mechanics so as you can see we just blew it up with one one shot so I don't want that I'm gonna go ahead and make some duplicates of this guy I'm gonna make a small duplicate so here as you can see we have some targets over here and let's see if we can blow them up or not so I'm gonna go ahead and play the game and yeah this is basically how you make your FPS shooter game shooter mechanics and you know how to make the accuracy <laughs> this is so satisfying amazing soon I will be uploading a tutorial video in which we will learn how to convert FPS to TPS camera movement so that we have a third person character controller and then we can also switch it to uh, first person character controller like we see in GTA 5 so that is that tutorial is also coming soon and I can simply show you guys how it looks like because I already have made this and as you can see this is a third person character controller he moves around run around if I press F uh, there we go as you can see we now are in FPS movement amazing isn't it so this tutorial is also gonna come real soon and uh, yeah if you don't want to miss this then make sure you subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload any tutorial video and yeah hope you guys enjoyed I will see you in the next video till then peace out